I had no idea that that living at sea would enable me to discover the affectionate side of sharks. You would think that somebody like me doing shark dives, probably more than anyone on the planet, would probably be, have no arms or legs. Um, and you can see I'm perfectly fine. My name is Jim Abernathy. I'm a conservationist and ecotourism operator focusing on sharks. In my childhood growing up here in Florida, starting to scuba dive at an, a very early age, I, I never wanted to go where there were a lot of people. I always wanted to go and experience wildlife. Everywhere I went, there was an abundance of sharks. So in the 80s, I started running ecotourism to uh, all the places in the Caribbean, looking for the best shark dives. But one day, uh, I had to come back across the Gulf Stream, and it was going to be really rough. So I went to a place that's a little bit protected um, on the Little Bahama Bank. And I put bait in the water and let my guests go in to see what sharks showed up while we prepared the boat for a rough crossing. And within an hour, we had five, you know, 16 foot or larger tiger sharks, as well as lemon sharks and Caribbean reef sharks. I named Tiger Beach because I knew that it was inevitable that at some point when the rest of the world is without sharks, they will come to the Bahamas. And I wanted to give the illusion that it was close to a beach. As most of the world knows, it's 25 miles from land with the hopes that they would get there. Sharks, when they hear our boat, will actually chase the boat to the mooring or wherever we're going to go long before we put bait in the water, um, which is great if you love sharks, and I do. So, uh, really? I, <laughs> oh, it should be okay. The star uh, of Tiger Beach for the last couple decades has been a 15-foot tiger shark by the name of Emma. She's in 14 different documentaries. You know, she's world famous. She's probably the most photographed shark in the world. Uh, she's at underneath my boat 10 months of the year, never leaves. She would only come in really, really close when I was there. Um, in fact, one of the producers making a film said, Jim, I should be making a film about your relationship with Emma. Um, how long has this been going on? And I denied it. You don't want to be labeled a crazy guy that's got a relationship with a shark. Because I've removed four hooks from her in the last 20 years, using love and affection to gain a sense of trust, um, she's obviously very, very comfortable. The affection is, is hands-on, rubbing their head. I usually use a hand signal, which is rubbing my thumb to my fingertips, and the shark swims directly towards me. Um, I pull the, the shark into my head so I can look right at the hook in its jaw, and then mentally figure out how to get the hook out. You know, sharks are smart, and, and they know who you are. You change wetsuits, doesn't matter. If you're feeding them, the shark has to beat all the other sharks to the fish, and that's survivor mode. To me, it's chaotic. So I just use the fish to attract them to the area. And um, I started teaching everyone how to make friends with a shark without feeding them. If a wild shark spends a, a lot of time around us, at some point that shark will realize that it's not being abused and it's gonna become more complacent and it's gonna swim around us with very, very little concern. The tiger sharks are really playful and, and um, they're also very curious, kind of like our dogs. Whatever I have in my hand is, is a, a, like they think it's their new toy. Um, unfortunately, they're really expensive cameras. It's, although it's funny, it, it's not funny if it's your camera. The photographers want the picture so bad that they, they want the picture of the tiger shark right here and they don't realize there's another one right behind their head. 
even though they're not going to attack, um, it, you know, playing with you can kill you um, if you don't know that there's a shark about to play with you because like dogs, they, they use their mouth. So the key thing is point to the shark and, and then tap people on both sides to make sure if they don't see them immediately. A shark attack is misnamed. It's really a shark mistake. And in the conditions that we have, the chances for a mistake to happen are really, really low. Tiger Beach for me is a place where I can go and see friends that I've made across the last 20 years and hopefully answer my prayers that they're not killed. Because sadly, their, their future is dim. Tiger Beach is so different when you're diving under there because the things that can happen, uh, like making friends with a wild animal, are, are so impactful. You change from whatever your life was before that to that, that point, you will pursue uh, getting close to wildlife. There's no stronger way that I can help people into trying to protect an animal that probably in their life at some point they, they hated. So to be um, privileged enough to be able to represent them, to be their voice, um, and change fear into love is powerful.